to Boyle Heights in 1932. And that's how I got there. I was in my last year of uh, grammar school, so I went to uh, First Street School. I graduated there and went to Hollenbeck, graduated there and stayed and went to Roosevelt. And then, of course, as you know, I graduated from Roosevelt. Because we had a lot of uh, Japanese Americans there, I uh, start, started a Japanese club. I was president of the organization. And uh, I was mentioning the fact that uh, I built a Japanese garden there as a uh, memento of uh, the Japanese who are going to uh, Roosevelt High School. It did do one thing. It left a uh, message that uh, we who are of Japanese ancestry had gone to that school. When the war came along, uh, I was in the State Guard. So on December the 7th, I heard about in the morning. So that afternoon, I went down to Exposition Park where my headquarters was. And they told me, Mr. Benai, you're Japanese ancestry, and we have reclassified everybody that's a Japanese ancestry from 1A to 4C. You're now an alien ineligible for service. As soon as I went into camp, my folks had been there early, so we lived in a little room, and I looked up every morning and I saw the guard tower with the guy with the MP with the gun. I was right next to a fence, a barbed wire fence. I have a friend over in the Pentagon, and he called me and said, they're going to start a Japanese American unit. And if you're interested in going in the military, they will change your status from 4C to 1A again. It became the most decorated, the most highly decorated unit in the history of the United States military. My parents, when they saw me in the military, were very proud of that fact and put a little star that you, they had those flags and we had a little window. Now some of the uh, people in camp, because they said, here you are, the government puts you in camp a concentration camp and you're proud of your son being in the U.S. Army. My parents told me, he said, there's no way that we're ever going to be any other way but Americans. And so we've all, and I'm, I know this because they always told me, they said, you ought to be proud of the fact that you are an American and that's your country and that's where you got to serve. Surprising because uh, never did I think that they would have anything like this going on, and I feel very privileged. I think because of uh, not knowing these things, having this kind of an affair, I think is very good.